Hey guys, Insomnia here with some more AFK Arena. Today we are back with the Graveborn team. We're on 24-60, so hoping to close out chapter 24 at this point, get into chapter 25. Looking at the team right now, we do have Isabella who is completely maxed out, plus 30 signature item. Her gear is all specific, waiting to start picking up T2 stones, which should be relatively soon. We do have Grez, who is our tank. Unfortunately, even at five stars, he dies really, really fast. So I don't really know what to do with him. Um, if we continue to work on his signature item, he does get a little bit better with a Skeletal Warrior summoning every 7.5 seconds instead of nine seconds, but not sure if that's gonna be a huge game changer. Of course, we have Pharrell, again, max out signature item, as well as all T1 gear waiting for T2 stones as well. And I do like running him with Duro's Call. I know it can give him more damage if I put on a different artifact, but I love when he alts the ability to put spirits on everyone to negate the energy disruption. Um, very, very powerful. Thorn, of course, we are going all the way to 30 with him for the Thorn Cheese, so he can actually double the retaliation ability so he will not be killed during the retaliation phase. Um, haven't done the Thorn Cheese in a long time, though, so hopefully we can start getting some gear for him as we continue to level him up. We also do have Nara. She is at plus 20. Her plus 30 is good, um, but right now focusing on Thorn, so she might be the next one depending on who we continue to build because we're still looking for Oden. Oden we need one copy of and we can continue to go ahead and build him. We do have one more of our T1 stones. So we'll go ahead and get his gear up to T1 level which gives him a lot more attack, a lot of defense, increasing his survivability as well as hit points at this point. So that'll conclude it for the T1 stones. Looking at the summons, we do have about 15,000 gems. Um, a couple stones, so hopefully we need one copy of Oden is all that we need at this point, which we do get a Graveborn, which is awesome, Shimira. She is a hero we will build in the future just because she is super powerful, especially with the rework of her ultimate. So when she actually casts the Soul Siphon, she'll stop casting it to alt, which is a big, big game changer with the amount of damage she's going to put out. But very, very good in the Labyrinth, very good for some of the Twisted Essence bosses. And I'm hoping with the change that she's going to do a lot better in the campaign overall. We do have 10 rare stones here. Again, looking for a little more fodder, but we are just hoping here that one copy of Oden is what we need to go ahead and level them up. We got a copy of Thorin there, as you can see, to um, Elite Plus. So we should be able to get Thorin up a couple more stars. Looking here at the Noble Tavern. Uh, we don't have enough Stargazer cards, but the wish list, we can add the new Mauler. So actually, I've been swapping out Brutus to put um, Anoki in. If you haven't seen him, very, very powerful new Mauler. Um, very cool skill set. We put Torn in here. We do have two heroes already at five stars. Hoping to get a couple more to the five star rank so we can go ahead and swap them out of the wish list and then focus on heroes that we need to get more stars on. So we do have a couple companion points here, so we'll go ahead and do a summon here. Again, we are looking for one copy of Oden still. We've been waiting and waiting and waiting for his one copy. 15,000 gems, and we are gonna have a card available. So I'm hoping we can pull one pretty quick, which our first elite there, which is a copy of Thorin. So we just got an elite plus, so we got another copy, which I'm not sure if that will be, I believe he's only at two stars. I don't think he's high enough to be capped at five stars at this point. But I'm really hoping we can build Oden in another elite right there, which is a copy of Gorvo. Gorvo's really good, especially after the rework. He used to have super, super tough RNG um, as he would jump all over the entire map. Since they've made him a, a little more predictable, I guess, um, very, very easy to go ahead and swap him into a wilder team. Very, very powerful hero as well with his stuns and his shields. And I'm really hoping for Oden. Still fingers crossed, which just some more fodder. So we got one card on the table. Hopefully this is gonna be the copy that we've been looking for, or it could be a copy of Thorin, which is a copy of Shimira. So we got another copy of Shimira. At the point, Stargazers, we don't have any. Barracks, I'm not sure. We're a little bit short on the Barracks to go ahead and pull another copy, but we can go ahead and pick up our scroll change. 
And I think that'll give us enough for one more summons. So I'm really hoping, like I said before, a copy of Oden would be ideal. We got a double. Look at that. Come on, Oden. Oh, Gorvo and Tassie. Two very, very good Wilders, but still no copy of Oden. We did get quite a few more emblems there. We'll focus on the resonating crystal as well. We can open another slot. And just continuing, so we are on 248 there, taking it to 249. We should be able to take it to 250, maybe even a little bit higher. And this strengthens the entire team. So every single hero that is in the resonating crystal is just getting stronger and stronger. Because as you can see, as I'm leveling them up, it takes actually a couple sub-levels to actually go up a full level. But every sub-level does increase your overall power as well. So as you can see, we do have a ton of hero essence, 580 million here. So I think we're gonna run out of essence, which we're out of essence here, the 553 million hero EXP, but the essence we are just shy of getting to 255, which would make a huge difference, especially as we do our push here. So we got another copy of Shamira, we got a copy of Tassie, as well as some more fodder for the Lightbearer team. So let's check out the Graveborn here. As you can see, we picked out Nauru. We have a ton of copies of, so a ton of fodder there with Nauru. And we do have Thorin as well, which will add another star, taking him to four stars. So we are very, very close on him. We need one more, I believe one more Thorin copy. So if we could get him from the shop, he would be our next five-star hero. We do also have food down there right now which is waiting for, again, Oden. So that's what we're just waiting on kind of at this point. Baden and Isold we might build in the future. Same with Shimira. Um, we're going to build her in the future. But if we can get one more copy of Oden, it will actually take him to Legendary Plus. We have fodder to take him to Mythic, and I have enough fodder to take him to Mythic Plus at that point to make him actually pretty effective. Still need five copies in total to get him to ascend it at this point. So unfortunately, we're not going to build anyone for the Graveborn account just because we are waiting to get him kind of leveled up. Here we do have a couple other copies. As you can see, we have a lot of legendary heroes here that we've just been kind of saving, but we do have enough to get Angelo up, which would be ideal because we are actually going to use him for food and I wanna make him food for Lucius. Lucius, a very, very powerful tank, which, yeah, I think I'm gonna go with Lucius on this one, just for the fact that he is the primary tank we use in the Lightbearer Tower. And we do have double copies here, which we can get him to Ascended. Very, very powerful hero. So having him up to Ascended here, we're waiting for copies of Titus, so we can actually use him, as well as Sophia, Kasos, just honestly waiting for copies of everyone at this point on the Mauler side. Wilders, we can go ahead and add another star to Tassie because we did pull a copy of her. As well as we got a couple more copies of Gorvo. Just again, waiting for more forward. Lorzen, we focused on this one. And if you look through all the faction accounts, the off factions I've really been building, especially like Eron and Tassie here, because of the faction tower. As far as here, we got pretty much everyone unlocked. Haven't had too much luck with our summons overall, but that will do it. I don't think we have enough in the tavern to pull another card. We're just a little bit short, but that'll do it for the summons overall. And don't think we have enough here to go ahead and get his crown up anymore. So that will be stuck as well. So I believe that is about it. I know we have a ton of emblems which we can actually focus on swapping around some of this gear with our reset scroll. We only have one of them though. And then T1 stones, we don't have any either. Little bit short, so we'll go ahead and keep it as the hypogen. But overall, we don't have any more stones. Signature items, we are waiting for Oden. I know in my signature items, that, or the emblems themselves, we have a ton of emblems. I have a ton of amplifying emblems. So we're gonna be actually able to take Oden's signature item from 0 to 20 with the amount of emblems we have, which is absolutely phenomenal. If we can get one more copy, I'm really, really hoping we can pull one more copy. And I'm hoping the levels that we just got, taking the team here 
we'll be able to finish 2460. So here we have Nara Antassi, and this was the battle that we did a lot of times, mainly because of Athalia. Athalia is such a very, very powerful hero, so difficult, which we took Thane down. Isabella's there. Alt, which took down Tassi, we should have this one down. So that's it. Just took a couple more levels to go ahead and complete that chapter out. Six and a half million damage there from Isabella. Level 254 made a big difference versus our level 300 that we're fighting here. So that will conclude chapter 24. So we will move right into chapter 25. And I believe this is the second of the faction teams into chapter 25. We have our Light Bearer team, which is just a little bit ahead of us at this point, but we'll continue the campaign progression as we're pushing into chapter 25. So it's pretty cool to think that we have finished 25 chapters with a Grey Worn team. As we've done with all the other faction teams, we have two teams in 24, two teams in 25, like I had said before. So let's see how well this team fares going into chapter 25. Which it looks like Isabella died pretty early there, which is not a good sign. But we did get Pharrell down. And once Pharrell's alt goes off for our, for our side, very, very difficult for any of the enemies to alt, which is why Pharrell is such a very, very powerful hero, as you can see here. So we do get the win on 25-1. So pushing the progression, 25-2. Thane, Lucius, Silvana. We'll swap Nara to the middle, that way she can actually pick up Silvana. Trying to keep Isabella alive because she is a super, super powerful DPS. As you can see, look at the speed that she casts. Not only her alts, but her regular attacks. And we got Pharrell's alt there. Nara through the shields. So we should be able to get this one down as long as we can get a hold of Thane, which we do very, very easily with the fear of Pharrell. And again, that's what makes Pharrell such a super powerful hero. So here we'll swap Nara to the top to take out Pharrell. That way, if we can get a bleed and we can get a fear on him, which we did right there, as well as the stun, very easy to take him down, just like Isabella. Once you can get to them, they're not too difficult to kill, but it is just having the heroes or utilizing the heroes to really get to them to make the difference. So 25-4, so our first boss stage here, which it looks like we have Eron. Eron and Falks. Tough decision, but we're going to go ahead and... Impale Eron. I'm hoping this isn't going to kill Nara, but I don't want him to take out a tank very, very easy. Which we did get Pharrell's ult off there, and that is why I put Dura's Call on him. I want him to ult as fast as possible so we can go ahead and negate some of the energy regeneration that the heroes are using. As you can see, it works very, very well. Final ult there from Nara to get the kill on Estrilda. 7 million damage from Pharrell, 3 from Nara. I know Isabella died pretty easy, but 7 million damage from an agility hero. Very, very cool to see. As we push to 25-5, Wilder team have to take out Arden. Arden and Ira are very tough, but Arden is the primary just because of his root ability. At this level, he actually roots 3 heroes, which again, completely negates 3 heroes which on most teams, you cannot afford to have that amount of CC just completely run free. So when you're fighting him, if you're running Nara, if you're running Athalia, um, definitely picking up Arden to take him out. As you can see here, Gorvo shields, Gorvo stuns, very tough hero to kill. That's why I want to build him for the Wilder team. Seems like after his rework, he is super, super powerful, especially with the shields and the sun. Survivability is very high with Gorvo. Here again, we're going to swap Nara to the middle so we can grab Arden. Usually take him down pretty quick, especially if we can get the taint ability on him from Thorin to couple with Nara's attack, which we picked up Cirrus there. Grez seems to be a little bit better now. He's, he's not dying as often. It seems like we just have to get him scaled with some of his here or some of his little minions, and then he will not die, his little skeletal warriors. Brings us to 25-7. Again, Arden. So we got Arden, last battle, Arden before. Just Arden, Arden, Arden is what we're running. Mm -hmm. But we're not seeing Brutus. So big change. 
And this team overall is very, very powerful because remember Thorin's taint ability. So as he's taking damage, he actually negates it to the hero he puts taint on. Isabella attacks the hero with the lowest hit points, which it's a absolutely perfect combination. If you've run the Depths of Time 2 on the servers, you know what I'm talking about. 25-8, again, a team of wilders. We're going to try to pick up Tassie on this one just because, again, we want to negate her banish ability and her slumber ability are the two things that we're really looking to take out. Thorn died pretty early on that one. And with Pharrell being banished, does not help, especially with the energy regeneration. Cirrus provides a lot of damage and a lot of CC, as you can see there. And almost with the healing, will lead to a defeat for the team. 25-8, we should be able to get this one down. Ideally, again, Taint goes on Tassie. I know there she teleports away, but if we can get her down a little bit earlier because she just teleported away again... And the banish on Pharrell is very, very devastating to this team. So not only is Isabella dying, but Pharrell is getting banished relatively easy or relatively early in the match. Let's try grabbing Shamira. We can mitigate some damage on Thorin. And since Tassie is going to, well, now she banished Isabella. She didn't banish Pharrell because Isabella was still alive. But still, we got completely run through right there. Just seems like the, the combination but Pharrell is dodging a ton and Thorin is still up should be able to get Cirrus down especially with Isabella still up gotta fear got it done so 24 dash or 25 dash 8 excuse me 7 million damage from Isabella 3.8 from Pharrell very very strong performance with Isabella in the amount of damage that she can put out in a super short time is just absolutely crazy. So this one will swap Nara to Silvana. Hopefully we can pick her up because we got the throwing axes to deal with from Kasos as well. Even though he's in a minion in the back, which is good. If you have not seen his new alt, he actually throws five throwing axes doing an insane amount of damage to heroes everywhere, which I'm hoping we can keep him from alting. Because last time he ulted, he almost wiped the entire team with one alt, doing over 4 million damage, if you guys remember. Alright, so 25-10. So we're just a couple stages behind the Light Bear team at this point. Taint goes on Falks, which we got a good sun. Very, very perfect combination right there. When Nara pulls the target that's tainted, um, not only the stun and the bleed, just very, very easy to take down the combination between the two. And hopefully we can lock down Thane at this point, which with his ult, oh, he took us down for the defeat. All right, 25-10, again, Brutus stages are very, very tough. Even though here we have Nara, which makes it way easier. Uh, Brutus Immunity Shield, which we got Kasos there. We should be able to take down Sophia pretty early, which she goes down. Just left with Brutus, which we got. Very nice. So that brings us to 25-11. Again, dealing with some of the Iron Dwarfs. He'll put up his little cannon. As you can see there, he's building his cannon in the back. We I think we actually killed this cannon pretty quick. It's very, very cool. As you can see, Isabella just casting like crazy bolts flying everywhere. If they let her free cast, she just does an insane amount of damage, especially with her plus 30 signature item. 7 million damage there in a very, very short amount of time. 25 12. We'll go ahead and we'll pick up Laika out of the bottom because that's usually where the taint ability will go. Which very tough with Aziz and Savius. Because they do an incredible amount of damage in a very, very short amount of time. But it looks like between the stuns, we do get this one down very nice. And Isabella and Pharrell are both up at that point. 6.3 million damage from Isabella. So again, if you haven't built Isabella, she does an insane amount of damage, super, super fast, 25-13. I 
Again, we're going to go ahead and pick up Arden. We've got a dark dwarf in the back that'll build his little cannon. But we got a good energy reduction going on with Pharrell. And there goes his alt, which does a lot of damage. Get a couple more minions up here with Grez, which the minions actually took down his little cannon. But Grez is very hard to kill, especially by himself. Which brings us to our next stage, 25-14. So already 14 stages through this chapter. We'll go ahead and pick up Savannah again, trying to keep her off Isabella. But Nemisu is very tough in here because of his totems. The totems do a significant amount of damage, and they are a huge, huge distraction. As you can see right there, Pharrell was just attacking the totems and only focusing on the totems, as well as Shamira in this team comp, and Grez, who brings up minions. So very, very tough. Let's go ahead and grab Nemisu, see if this will make a difference, but I think, I think Silvana is going to kill, yeah, the combination of Savannah and Shamira on Isabella. But we did get an alt off. I don't think that's going to make a difference. And still can't pull off the Thorn Cheese. I've tried it several times. Um, still can't get lucky with it. I think once I have a signature item to plus 30, it'll make a little bit of a difference, but... And again, we'll swap Nara, we'll get Savannah. Hopefully we can get an early alt from Pharrell, which makes a very, very big difference. Again, we got completely run over. Grez is just getting absolutely destroyed where you have Thorin that, that is surviving because of his retaliation ability. All right, we should be able to get this one down. Even there, the silence took out Isabella. So very, very quick, giving Shamira the ability to alt. Just getting destroyed with this team comp. And this is where I feel like here, like Oden, if I could get one more copy and build him would make a big, big difference. Because if we can pull some of the energy off Savannah and some of the energy off Shimira would make a huge, huge difference. Because Shimira is alting very, very quick. As you can see there. Even by the time Thorin gets back up, we already got a bunch of totems up. Let's go ahead and swap the tank, see if Thorin can survive up top with Shimira. Which again, Thorin just got absolutely destroyed up top. Didn't die though, but still got the retaliation ability, which almost took out Nemisu and Shimira there. See if he had his double retaliation, I feel like he would, he would definitely take them out if we could retaliate twice. I think it would make a big, big difference because then he wouldn't have died right there. Still working on him. Hopefully at the end of the next event, the Celestial Isles, which is coming out, we'll be able to go ahead and get him a little higher. And Silvana, we just destroyed right there. Nara grabbed Grez as a backup, which we almost got Grez down, which, oh, I think we got him down. But still, the Shamira ult absolutely destroyed us. It's just doing an insane amount of damage. Again, with the taint ability, Silvana is very easy to get down. But Shamira is just killing Isabella with the silences. And Isabella, of course, is focused on the totems at that point from Nemesu. So give this a couple more tries. Maybe swap Nara up front. Maybe swap Oden in for a couple. Let's see if we can get a stun on Shamira if that's going to help at all. Which Nara just got annihilated. I don't even think it was two seconds since she was already down. Same with Thorn, and Thorn went down there. Shimmer's alt, just a couple ticks of it takes down the entire team, as you can see there, so absolutely devastating. Let's give it one more try, hopefully, and even there, Nara just got annihilated in the front row. We didn't even get a chance to stun between Naru and uh, Shimmer there. We didn't even get a chance to do absolutely nothing with the hero. So Thorne's gonna go down just leaving Grez, so this will be another defeat. All right, so that was a pretty tough run. Um, tried the stage many, many times, even swapped in Oden. I know I didn't show all the replays, but 
cannot get past 2514, so we're literally like four stages, five stages behind the Lightbearer team at this point. We'll go ahead and collect up our loot because we did finish out chapter 24, which is phenomenal, giving us 20 faction scrolls, so we'll have those for our summons next, and we're already over 3,000 gems. So let me know in the comments what you think. Super stoked about the Greyborn team. They're doing so well. Cannot wait to build Oden at that point. And as always, thank you for watching.